Well, welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're just doing a few chores around the cabin here. Uh, dropping off some firewood. Uh, I got a road back here that I got to widen. Um, it's just a little tight to get the truck through. I'm going to take down a couple of trees. And then I'm kind of looking at uh, birch poles. I hear a lot about them being uh, popular for decorative things. Uh, so I cut a few this spring when I was um, thinning out around some white birch. Uh, they seem to get crowded out by the aspen around here and they're not very shade tolerant and then they just end up dying in the understory underneath the aspen. So I've been trying to thin out the aspen around the few birch that I have here and uh, as some of you might know they, they like to grow in clumps after the first cutting. They'll have a bunch of stump sprouts they call them. So I've been thinning out some of those stump sprouts and letting the biggest uh, most healthiest sprout uh, stay behind to be the crop tree. So I'm left with all these birch poles and I figure I might as well not waste them and try to uh, um, save them to sell to people who might want to decorate things in their house with them. So I'm just gonna go grab them. I got them all laying on the side of the trail and uh, I'm gonna see if I can dry them out. I don't know how hard that's going to be because they're not split of course they're just a like a long eight or six foot pole but uh yeah i'll give it a try see what happens There, much better.
There. Well, I got 43. They're all kind of various sizes, anywhere from 10 feet down to maybe 6 feet in length. Um, I have no idea how that's going to work. I'll have to figure out pricing. But hopefully they dry and don't start growing mushrooms in here. I guess we'll see what happens. But I uh, figured I'd give it a try and we'll see after a few months how dry these get. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.